Yo, what's going on fam? It's your boy, Mental Game for Kings, back with another very special video for you guys today. And this is going to be about the power of deciding to be something different. Now, where your power is going to be found in doing this is understanding who you are. And who you are is I am. Before you were anything, you are I am. That is your awareness, right? And in every given moment, you are aware of being something. You're, be, you're aware of being the person that has your job. You're the person that, you know, has a relationship. You're aware of being the person that, you know, whatever is going on in your experience now, you're aware of being those things. You have identified yourself as the individual that has those things. Now, here's where the beauty lies in the power of deciding to be something new. Your I am can be conditioned in any single way that you decide it to be conditioned. You can condition yourself to be something new now. And when it comes to using the law of assumption, this is very powerful because we can essentially rewrite the narrative of our life and we can decide to be something new. We can write ourselves a new script. We can write ourselves a new story. But the first thing you need to understand is that is your power. Your power lies in the great I am. Right. So the perspective I, got, I want you guys to adopt when it comes to using the law of assumption, when it comes to manifestation is that, is understand that everything comes from within your consciousness. Everything comes from what you have attached your I am to, right? Everything comes from the identity you have claimed yourself to be. And your life experience is a mirror of that inner world. Right, So if you want to experience something different, if you want to experience something new, you have to recondition that I am to be in alignment with what it is that you're after, um, what it is that you're wanting to experience. Right, Because we don't necessarily manifest what we desire, but we manifest rather what we are, what we are in consciousness. That's what gets out pictured in this three-dimensional world. Right, So... Now, here's, here, in practical sense, this is what I want you guys to do. A lot of you guys, when you say your affirmations, are saying things, well, it's not working, it's blah, 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 right? Well, no wonder it's not working, because you are aware of it not working. You are aware, you're having the consciousness of the individual that is experiencing it not working. You have the consciousness of the individual that is experiencing it not manifesting per se so what you have to do instead is you have to adopt the identity of the individual that is having success with this and it's as simple as claiming well i am having success with this now or i'm so good at this now and you persist in doing that you persist in in, in writing the new story and the best time to do that is yeah when when the old story comes up but it becomes a lot easier when you understand that everything is coming from you everything is coming from your awareness everything comes from your inner world so you have to recondition that in a world of yours. You have to write a new script. You have to write a new narrative. You have to be something different. And you do that by claiming to be something new in the present moment. The present moment and your I am has the ability, it has limitless potential, right? Because in every given moment, you are presented in the present with a new opportunity, a new gift, right? To be something different. And you have... You're the only one that has the ability to control the direction of your thought. You're the only one that has the ability to have or to control the direction of how you speak to yourself, what you say about yourself, what you say about others, right? Whilst all this is happening out here, there's still something going on in your inner world. You always have the ability to shed light, your, your own perspective on things, flip things in your favor, start flipping everything in your favor, start Start alchemizing things so that they are in alignment to what you are after, what you're wanting to manifest, right? Start to realign everything. Start to reprogram everything in your favor. Start to speak to yourself in the manner that the individual that you're wanting to be would speak to themselves. How would they speak to themselves, right? Would they be fucking worried about, oh my God, no, this person doesn't love me or, oh my God, this is so hard. No, they'd be saying, no, this person fucking, yeah, head over heels or, yeah, everything's going my way. Right? And it's not about trying to 
convince yourself in a way of like, okay, it's going my way, and then all this shit's falling around. No, you're laying down a new foundation. You're laying down a new belief. You're planting a new seed. You're not even checking the old seeds. You're like, yeah, whatever, fuck. They don't exist anymore because all that exists is the present moment. So you decide what seeds you plant. So plant the good ones and plant the ones that are fucking important to you being able to manifest what it is that you want to manifest. And you have to be disciplined with this. You have to be disciplined over your awareness because most of you guys have no discipline over your awareness. You're lazy with it. You say your affirmations for three minutes and then the rest of your day, you're talking against yourself. You're speaking poorly of yourself. Start seeing yourself in the highest light, right? Start thinking of yourself as someone that is incredible, amazing, powerful, persistent, beautiful, all these things, and watch how your world change. Start almost being, you have to really understand that you have to, you have to speak to yourself in the most perfect manner, as if you would talk to someone that you really love, and you should be doing that, right? Because you're meant to love yourself. So talk to yourself in a way that is loving to yourself, right? Say the best things about yourself. And then watch how your will will start to shape itself with these new beliefs that you're planting, right? You're not trying to convince yourself in terms of like, oh yeah, this is what's happening. And you're like, you know, no, it's you, you just decide, right? You make a decision that this is what's happening now. I am now this person. I'm now strong. I'm now powerful. I'm now whatever it is that you're wanting to be, right? You now have the job that you want to have, you know, you're now succeeding in the, in the areas of your life that you want and you have to make that decision. And that's the new script you write, despite what you see in the outer world, because it has to conform to your inner world, right? So what you're seeing now is simply old reflections, old seeds bearing fruit. But in due time, right, your new seeds will also bear the fruit of your new planted manifestations or new planted decisions things that you've claimed yourself to be so i want you guys after this video i want you guys to just make a pact with yourself make a pact with yourself and say you know what yeah i'm the person now that speaks to myself in the most loving wonderful and caring way right and you do that you persist in doing that you persist in doing that with whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest. You claim it now. You lay the foundation. You plant the seed now, right? You don't worry about when the fruit is going to grow. You've planted the seed. You claiming it is planting the seed, right? That is your only That is your only job. Plant the new seeds and persist in watering them by continuing to feed, by continuing to decide that's who you are. And claiming yourself to be that. Because all that exists is the now. And I am is the source. I am is the cause. This world is the effect of I am. The effect of your awareness. Yeah. I'm sure you found this video helpful. Now if you want to work with me one to one. I'll leave a link in the description there. Where I can help you. Hold you accountable. And um, help you to reach what it is that you're wanting to reach. Yeah. You got this, guys, yeah? Peace, power, prosperity, and love always.